is one thing I can tell you about the Democrats. And I mean this with all my heart and all sincerity. Do I have to say with, with all due respect? With all due respect, Joe Biden and his supporters are pure evil. Like the father, the devil. And you remember what we were talking about on Sunday? This is what it reminds me of this. Just think about it. everything that's of the devil. This is what the Biden administration do. And the supporters of Joe Biden backs him on everything he does. Kids want to have an operation. They're angry because you won't let kids chop their body parts off. Same kids, they're saying that they're not responsible enough to own a gun, to have driver's license, to drink at a certain age. But now body parts can get chopped off at 11. That's pure demonic. Nothing, no one else ex ex to express it, but pure demonic. They want abortion up to nine months. Don't let nobody fool you. It ain't about, we want an exception because of rape and stuff. It's all these coward Republicans talking about. And look, we don't compromise. Uh, we ain't going to get anything. You bastards been compromising since I was a kid. It ain't got you nowhere. I'm sick of people saying, if we don't do such a thing, Ann Coulter, the scarecrow, said it. Uh, we had, uh, uh, who was that? Uh, I think it was Nikki Haley, who said the same damn thing. If we don't compromise, Sean Hannity said it. They said, we don't compromise with this exception. You think it's really about exceptions with the Democrats? It's not about exceptions. I bet if you pin everyone, every last one of them down and says, are you willing to say that, uh, that you shouldn't be able to have an abortion at, at nine months almost? All of them still would say it. You, they forgot a question on the oath. They wouldn't even ask the damn question. Because it has nothing to do about an, an exception of rape or nothing like that. That ain't what it's about is that these people are so damn evil that there, there's nothing that they won't do. Look, I mean, technically, look at the border issues. There's kids being raped, families being killed, women being sexually assaulted. They don't care. See, this is what Jesus was talking about when Jesus says, ye are of your father, the devil. Now, people don't realize that Jesus actually talks like that. So when I say they of the devil, I'm mimicking what Jesus said. This is what Jesus said, John chapter 8. If you want to start with verse 44, that's where it's at. Ye are of the, you, ye are of your father, the devil. This is Jesus talking. And the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. He abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. This is his native tongue, lying. For he's a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, Jesus says, ye believe me not. He says, which one of you can convince me of sin? They had nothing on him. Yet they said, we got to kill him. Think about this. The holy rollers back in the day, those Pharisees, Sadducees, the one who sat on the Sanhedrin council. They were so upset with Jesus. They said, we can't find anything he did, but we need to kill him. Is this, does this not sound like Joe Biden and his supporters? In the so-called media of the day, your government of the day, you quote facts about COVID, about lockdowns, about the mass, about transgenderism, and they call you evil, these devils, but they are their father is the devil. So they're speaking their native term, Jesus says. And then Jesus says, if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God, hear it God's word, ye therefore hear him not, because you are not of God. You are of the devil. That's why I always say it. I don't sugarcoat that for nobody. You are of the devil. It ain't but two sides. Anybody siding with evil Joe Biden, anybody siding with this administration, you are of the devil. I don't care how long you went to church. I don't care if your pastor said your pastor's trash anyway. Tell your pastor to call me. I'll give him my number. Your pastor's trash. I'll tell him his face is trash. I don't care if it's TDJ, Joe Osteen. I ain't going to sugarcoat it for nobody. Local pastors. I didn't confront some of these Negroes down. They, 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 they don't know nothing about Bible. All they do is talk. They don't even know what they're talking about most of the time. But, but, but damn frauds. Jill Biden came to town. She went over here with, we call Third Ward. This, this fake Negro who's a preacher over here. Let, this, let Jill Biden up in the pulpit. They have Sheila Jackson Lee in the pulpit all the time. Warnock had Joe Biden in the pulpit. These people are of the devil. I don't care how long your, your granny been going, your meme all been going to that church. They supporting these devils. This is what this is not me talking. So your, your problem not with me. Your problem with Jesus. Jesus said you are the devil. He said your father is the devil. Those who tell lies 
and con continually tell lies is of the devil. This is according, thus says Jesus. Because you, all they do is lie. All they do is deceive and cheat. And then you have these fake people talking about how much they love the Lord. You don't love the Lord. Get your hand down, clown. So much you love the Lord. You don't even know the Lord. You're a devil. And you're a devil. You're a demon, you. And see, this all this all this even tone stuff ain't going to get you nowhere with these devils. Well, I don't remember John the Baptist. See, John the Baptist or Elijah or Jesus or Paul would not be welcome in most of these churches today. Matter of fact, he wouldn't be welcome. That he won't be walking nowhere, teaching nowhere on the internet. Joe Biden and this administration will crucify Jesus again and crucify Paul, John the Baptist, all of them. Because look what they talked about. Jeremiah, you name it. Same thing would happen. John the Baptist came and told these devils. He said, who told you to come out and repent? <laughs> you freaking evil people. Who told you to come out and repent? They weren't sugarcoated. See, that's the part of the Bible nobody ever reads. All they read is this cookie. Good God is love. He wants to love everyone. You think he's just going to ignore all that trash you're doing? Are you freaking kidding me? Joe Biden and his supporters, I don't care if it's your family, Joe Biden and his supporters are of the devil. And anybody telling me to compromise with the devil, you a devil. And never compromising with no devil. I don't care who likes it. Do you know how many people who told me they didn't like me? Do you know how many people told me they was going to never listen to me again because I told them the truth? Of course you are a devil. Think I care, devil? Because <laughs> one day we all going to have to stand before a holy God. We're going to see uh, who's going to come on the right end on that part right there. Don't care if you don't like the truth. You might not like the mailman delivering you bills either, but he don't stop delivering bills. You got mail. These devils. You know, so you can't try to say that somebody's being unloved. Jesus says you're a devil. That's what Jesus said. Ye are of your father, the devil. Every... Every, every bill they pass has got nothing to do with helping anybody. These people are pure evil. They're constantly promoting transgenderism, homosexuality, abortion on demand, open borders. And, they, and, and, and you go to these social media platforms, they leave the vilest stuff on the internet. Then you report a fact right there. No, oh my God. That, that's a, you, you, that, you can't put that disinformation. What's wrong with you? Then they found out you was right about it. They don't go apologize. They just move on to the next one. And the dumb followers who's of the devil. See, they reprobate at this point. You can go down a road too long with ignoring facts and truth and you become reprobate. Any buy supporter still buy and supporter and you reprobate by now. I don't care who it is. You reprobate as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. They pretending like these evil people is not evil. Look at what they do. When they ride and burn up a city, what do they say? These are peaceful this is so peaceful. If 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 somebody's minority attacks a white and brutally do something to them, they act like it's no big deal. You hurt somebody's feeling a minority on online, they act like it's the end of the damn world. Freaking devil. Don't get quit washing your skin color. I get so sick of that. I hate people always washing their damn skin color in the first place. What are you talking about all this? Your only accomplishment is your damn skin color? Freaking moron. But this is the problem I have, is that how is these people hollering that they're so good while they're supporting such an evil? Any crime you want to name, the Bidens have done it. And these people want to just ignore that. Telling Donald Trump to shut up. You've been wronging me. you telling me to shut up after you keep wronging me? That's your damn mind. I'd have been talking way worse than what he's talking about now. You're a choir boy compared to what I've been doing. All this unjust stuff. I'd have sued everybody. I'd have did them the exact same way I did. I'd have kept time to the court system until I did them just like they did me. See, if, if you let them get away with it and you're only playing defense, it's hard to win a ball game when you only play defense. Defense can score sometimes, but damn it, you got to play some offense. Mm -mm. Go Dominique Wilton, ball hog. Don't pass nothing. Jack it up every time. I don't care if you're on the other side, just jack it up. Jack it up. Once you pass the ball to Don, I don't know if y'all remember Dominique Wilton for the Atlanta Hawks. You pass the ball to Dominique, he's shooting that damn thing. He ain't passing nothing. That boy's shooting everything. Five men can be on him. He's still jacking that up. And we'll dunk on you, too. <laughs> Our problem is that we want to be passive. Thinking being nice and even toned with these people. We just compromise with them. We're not compromising with the devil. What the hell is you talking about? We're going to keep losing. You already lost and you compromised. Where did that get you? Now you ain't got no dignity. Now you got to try to make excuses why you compromise because now they can throw it in your face. You compromised the last time. Mm -mm. 
I did work out for Tucker Carlson. He compromised with him too. They fired his ass still. Can't about you compromising fool. Well, that's ring the you your your platform that got big. Yeah, because I wouldn't compromise like the rest of these clowns. And I'm with a bunch of compromising people. Then you how is compromising work for you? We're in the mess right now because of reaching across the aisle, making a deal with the devil. If you make a deal with the devil, you lose every freaking time. You cannot win making compromises with the devil. <laughs> That's laughing. Because the devil's going to laugh at you once you get caught in I can't believe you're so stupid you did something like that. That's how the devil works. He gets you to do something, and then he mocks you. Because it ain't his body's going to get destroyed. He's going. He's already know he's going to hell. See, when you abuse and do something stupid, that ain't that ain't hurting him. He already got his point. He going. That's where he's going permanently. He's going to drag a bunch of y'all with him. Joe Biden is of the devil. Everybody who supports Joe Biden is of the devil. Either you're stupid as hell or you of the devil. Those are your two choices. Pick one. I'm stupid or I'm of the devil. Those are the only two choices on the table. No door number three. My 85-year-old granddaughter, my granddaddy supports uh, Joe Biden. He's a moron, too. Don't care how old your granddaddy is. See, that don't work with me. All the people be trying to be nice and stuff. Tell my dad, my granddad was a veteran. I don't give a damn. I don't care. I don't care who he is. <laughs> I, whatever you name, I can name somebody who I insulted is in my family the same way. I don't care. They'll tell you I don't care. Your mama may care. Your wife, your husband, your granny, whoever, your co-worker may care. I don't give a damn. I just don't. You're not making me go down that road with a bunch of these other weaks, these weaklings who are always compromise, looking for a way to compromise. I ain't looking for no way to compromise. I run to the battle. Hell is you talking about, fool? <laughs> Tell you some stories you wouldn't be. I run to the battle. You ain't, you, ain't, you ain't talking to one of those. All these these frauds pretending like they're going to talk to them. First thing they say is we need to compromise. Wait a minute. You want me to compromise with the people who tried to destroy me? You want me to compromise with people who's been lying on me the whole damn time? That's who you want me to compromise with? You want me to compromise with the people who contradict everything God said? That's the person you want me to compromise with? That's going to be a big hell to the now. That's your freaking mind. Devil? Use the devil. Care if you, see, that, that's, that's our problem here. We like a little school girl. We care who likes us and stuff like that. I got people ain't spoke to me in 20 years. I don't lose no sleep. They're not that interesting anyway. See, whether I'm in a crowd or I'm by myself, people can tell you, I, I can spend three, four weeks by myself and not talk to anybody. Don't make no difference to me. Or I can spend with a whole crowd. I can take it and go. Because I can spend my time with the Lord. I don't care. Don't make no difference to me. We say most people need somebody to, to do confirmation for them. Oh, pat them on the back and tell them how wonderful they are. You a clown. Compromising with the devil makes you a clown to me. Yeah, who like that's a fact. Yeah, take